I've just spent the last couple of hours out in the O'Halloran Hill Trails in Glenthorne National Park. Just getting away from it all, there's amazing views of the ocean and of the city and you get into these quiet little tree filled gullies and just disappear from everything. We've seen kangaroos, we've seen all sorts of woodland birds and often, we didn't see it this morning, but often you even see echidnas in here and koalas as well. And that's what's heartbreaking about the Labour Party's proposal to run a highway through Glenthorne. They never supported Glenthorne. They wanted to build houses in Glenthorne. We know that year after year and we stopped it. And now they're in government, their way at getting back at our community, their way at getting back at me is to swing a massive on-off ramp through Glenthorne National Park. I've said this will cost us hundreds and hundreds of trees. In fact, having been out here this morning and looked at where it's likely to go, I think that's thousands. And we don't need that, we don't want that. Not to save one, two minutes, but to sacrifice so much wildlife, so much habitat, so much precious green open space. This is the party that cries out and says we need climate action. Well, climate action would involve looking after this national park and not running a highway through it. I'm about practical environmentalism. I'm about giving people and nature places to go to escape. We'll lose walking trails. We'll lose mountain biking trails. We'll maroon the Sam Willoughby BMX track in the middle of a motorway. But more than that, we'll lose habitat, precious habitat in our urban environment. Let's save Glenthorne. Let's stop this crazy on-off ramp and a highway through our precious national park.